David Cameron has said no one is keener on agreement than he is over a fiscal framework for Scottish devolution. The Holyrood and Westminster governments are locked in talks over a financial deal to underpin new powers. Mr Cameron said he was keen to complete the very important piece of devolution in a fair way for Scotland and the rest of the UK. SNP group leader Angus Robertson warned that time is running out for a deal. Talks over the fiscal framework have been going on for several months, and are yet to be resolved. Holyrood's devolution committee wants a quick conclusion to the matter so any deal can be discussed in the Scottish Parliament before it is dissolved on March 23 ahead of elections in May. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has written to the Prime Minister outlining parts of the Scottish Government's case over the no-detriment principle. The Smith Commission on Further Powers said any deal should not impact adversely on Scotland or the rest of the UK, but Ms Sturgeon said the Treasury seemed instead to be trying to decide what level of detriment that Scotland should bear. At Prime Minister's questions, Mr Robertson claimed the plans as they stand could cost Scotland pound 3 bn, and said time was running out to deliver a fair deal. Mr Cameron responded that the deal struck needed to be fair for taxpayers across the UK as well as north of the border. Mr Cameron said, negotiations are underway, I want us to successfully complete this very important piece of devolution in a fair way. There's an ongoing negotiation to reach a fair settlement, and I would say to the Scottish First Minister and the Scottish Finance Minister they have to recognise there has to be fairness across the rest of the UK too. With goodwill, I can tell you that no one is keener on agreement than me. I want the SNP, here and in Holyrood, to have to start making decisions. Which taxes are you going to raise, what are you going to do with benefits? I want to get rid of this grievance agenda and let you get on with a governing agenda, so we can see what you're made of. Scottish Secretary David Mundell told MPs that the Scottish and UK governments are within touching distance of a fiscal framework deal. Labour's Ian Murray had claimed that tennis star Andy Murray's newborn daughter could win Wimbledon before a deal is done. However, Mr Mundell welcomed Ms Stagione's letter to Mr Cameron as good progress on the matter, saying, we are within touching distance of striking a deal and I remain optimistic that we will do so. Until everything is agreed, nothing is agreed. But considerable progress has been made on all these issues. I very much welcome what the First Minister said in her letter, that the Finance Secretary is going to bring forward revised proposals from the Scottish Government. That's what a negotiation involves, revised proposals as a negotiation progresses and that's exactly what the government is doing. Both sides have done the dance, let's do the deal. Difficult discussion. During portfolio questions at Holyrood, Scottish Finance Secretary John Swinney said he remained committed to the discussions. He said, I don't think anyone could question the amount of time and energy and commitment I have put into trying to resolve these questions. What I want to make clear is that we have a very difficult discussion to have to resolve the differences of opinion we have on the no detriment principle. I am committed to continuing these discussions to come to an outcome which is fair to the people of Scotland, and fair to the people of the rest of the UK, which the no detriment principle is. What the Scottish Government will not sign up to is a mechanism which is damaging to the people of Scotland.